All right, guys, welcome to the unboxing video of the Bell Eliminator helmet. So I got this helmet from Revzilla and got it on super sale. I think it was like 60% off or something like that. So I got everything for under 200 bucks. First thing I noticed in the box, it has this top piece actually, which I think is sold separately. I don't think it's part of the helmet, but I think Revzilla just went ahead and threw it in there. Um, and I'll kind of explain this top piece here in a little bit. So take this off. Box is now empty. And we have got the Bell helmet bag. So go ahead and undo this right here. There we go. So undo that. Very, very well wrapped. Very secure. Here we go. So, Bell Eliminator helmet. I got it in flat black because honestly, that's all they had in my size. I think I probably would have preferred gloss black, but the flat black look isn't too bad. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the helmet. Inside we've just got Bell sticker, kind of warranty card, instruction manual, all that good stuff. Um, the helmet does look pretty good in my opinion. It comes with this uh, clear screen, but I did go ahead and purchase a new screen for it for the daytime rides. Um, I think it's always good to have a clear screen if you're riding at night um, or if you get caught riding at night, even if you're not intending to ride at night, but you get caught riding at night, always good to have the clear screen. Uh, and then obviously, you know, have a, a tint advisor for the daytime. Um, cool thing about this helmet, it's got the ProVision lenses um, or screens or whatever you want to call them. So with these ProVision visors, they are anti-fog. Um, from what I've heard, it's pretty much impossible to, to fog them up. Um, we've got great venting vents right here, right in the front, on either side. And then one of the, uh, the things that people either love or don't love about this helmet is actually these vent holes at the top, um, you know, I, I, I'm kind of indifferent about them, but that's actually what this is for right here is that this actually goes on top of the helmet and will cover those vents when you get caught in like a rainstorm or something like that. Um, obviously, I don't plan on riding in the rain, but uh, I don't think anyone kind of plans on riding in the rain. It's just something that happens. So it's good to be prepared. So shout out to Revzilla for including that in the purchase of the helmet because I think that is a separate extra part, um, which is pretty cool. But yeah, helmet is pretty much basic. Other than that, um, I you know, one of the reasons why I got this helmet, obviously, A, it was on sale. And B, uh, I think everyone kind of has the Simpson helmet and is going that Simpson route. And I think the Simpson helmets are just too aggressive, honestly. Um, so I think this was kind of styled similar to that, that kind of car racing uh, style helmet that a lot of people are wearing. But it was a little bit more refined than the Simpson helmets, which I think, uh, I don't know, I just can't get into them. I can't be... Uh, <laughs> I'm just not one of those guys that thinks the Simpson helmets look great. So I think this helmet is kind of a, a mix between, uh, you know, a standard full-size helmet and the Simpson helmet. I think it's that that good buffer zone. So yeah, that's everything that came in the box. Uh, everything kind of looks as it should. Once again, shout out to Revzilla for including the top guard uh, for the helmet for when it rains. Stay tuned for some other videos on the Bell Eliminator helmet.